Joining me is Craig Daimler with Daimler & Sons Construction. Craig, this project that we are about to visit is really something special. Tell us a little bit about it. This particular project was a conservatory. It's a two-story conservatory. It's got a glass roof to it and just an incredible view out the back. So are conservatories becoming more popular and where does a homeowner start? Well, conservatories have been around for hundreds of years. As far as where you start, you have to start with the design and how's that space going to be used? And how is it going to tie into the existing home so that it feels like it should be part of the home and not some add-on that was just tacked onto the back? What are some of the things that presented challenges? In this particular case, there's a lot of glass. Not only is it glass walls, but it's a glass roof. So heating and cooling of a space this large became a big challenge. The heated floors add an element of warmth that actually radiates up. But where do you put all of this equipment? In this particular case, we created a hidden area from the outside that looks like a chimney. From the inside, you can't even tell it exists. Let's go meet the owners and take a look at this breathtaking room. Brenda and Charles, I don't even know where to begin because this room is just exquisite. So you have to tell me how this project got started. We love it. Um, it was a present actually from Charles to me for Christmas, a big present for the next six Christmases. So tell me why you decided to choose Daimler and Sons. I've known Craig for about 20 some years and I lived in a house about five years ago uh, that I had them put an addition onto, a two-story addition, and I was thrilled with the work. Well, there are so many special, unique features. What's your favorite? I love the curvature of the windows, the curvature of the railing that matches. I love being able to see out into the sky at night. Well, not only are these floors beautiful, but I understand that there's a special feature on the lower level. Can you tell me about that? The floor downstairs has radiant heat underneath the tiles, not up here, but just downstairs. Marvelous, marvelous. We love it. This project, uh, the, the second floor, was a standard installation over top of three quarter inch plywood. But now downstairs here, we had a few challenges we had to meet. First one being, this was a, a poured concrete slab with heat, with radiant heat inside of it. So one of the challenges was how to put the tile in and not get the hairline cracks that show up in concrete, especially a, a concrete that's heated and with temperature changes. So what we used, we used a, a product which is called a Schluter Dietra batting. It's a tile underlayment. It's a crack suppressant. So if we get a crack in the substrate or the floor of the concrete, it won't transfer into the tile. And as well, with the radiant heat, it allows for better heat distribution uh, throughout the tile. I look around and I see all this glass, and what I think about is the glass ceiling. How in the world do you clean it? It's self-cleaning. Uh, it's some process that they use in the manufacturing of it that uh, after rain or anything, the sun comes out, dries it up, and the next rain, it washes it right off. We design and build conservatories, uh, sunrooms, large area skylights. We're basically a wood shop that prefabricate the structure in the shop, so it's all very easy to install once it gets to the field. And we have crews that come out and do the installation in the field. The owners wanted a, a pretty extraordinary room, and with Daimler and Sons, we spent a good long time, you know, tweaking designs, just coming up with different materials. One of the things that we do in the shop is we have standard joinery for all these different joints. The way we do it, everything is a concealed mortise and tenon joint. So you don't see fasteners, you don't see any screws or nails or anything. It's all just wood that locks together. And that's done at every step all the way through the whole room. In this case, we used red mahogany, which is a really good wood species. It's absolutely gorgeous as far as its color. It finishes well. It mills very well and it's very good under moisture. One other really neat thing is all the glass on here is well, on the exterior side. We have a coating that actually brushes off dirt. It goes into effect when ultraviolet light hits it. It takes organic particles and loosens them. Then the next time it rains, it washes them off. As far as the structure goes, there's a whole lot going on in here that you, you can't see. And as part of how spectacular the room is, we actually eliminated some of the normal structural components that 
could have gone into the room. One example is the fact that we, you know, back at these stone verticals, they go all the way up to the, to the top eave. And normally you would have a, a tie bar running up there, but between Daimler and Son and the owners, they decided we don't want to have any ceiling obstruction. So basically that steel goes all the way up, up the roof and all the way back down and it, it basically holds the, the entire structure together. Then we have another, another piece of steel at each corner and within the floor there's a, a piece of steel that holds everything at that level together. So the average person would never know that that's even there. The owners were great. Daimler and Sons, every one of their people were great. All the subcontractors that they had on this job, we all worked together so well. It was so much fun. It was, it was a great project. Remodeling can be a really daunting process, but I understand that this team was exceptional. Tell me about the team. Craig's people make this so easy. I mean, they come in, they know what they're doing, they don't disturb anything, um, they clean up after themselves every day, every day. I never had to clean a thing. They're here when they say they're going to be here. They tell you what's going to happen the next day. You can depend on them. Well, it's finished, and it's beautiful, and all you have to do is live in it. And what is that like? It's an unbelievable room to me. It, it turned out 500% better than I thought it was going to be, um, as far as the appearance and the interiors and the craftsmanship that went into everything. I'm, I'm thrilled with it, just thrilled with it. Thank you so much, Brenda and Charles, for allowing us to come into your beautiful home and enjoy this conservatory. And to you at home, we'll be right back. It takes a team of talented people to bring remodeling and home improvement projects together. Craftsmen and experts in their field that will make any home remodeling project a success. Well, we want to thank all those who sponsored this show and were involved in these magnificent remodeling projects. Conestoga Tile Distributors, H.B. McClure Company, Lezer Lumber, Quality Stone Veneer Incorporated, RF Fager Company, World Premier, Advanced Sash and Door, and Yale Lighting Concepts. Visit them online or give them a call today. Craig, thanks so much for sharing these projects with us. Any final thoughts on some of the steps a homeowner should take when considering remodeling their home? When dealing with a design-build firm like Daimler & Sons, being open to suggestions that the designers may bring that might even take you a little bit out of your comfort zone and be willing to entertain those ideas can really help the process become all it can possibly be. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching mid-state homeowners who went from wondering, wouldn't it be great if, to actually seeing it built. And remember, for other great ideas on ways to expand and enhance the space and beauty of your home, visit Daimler & Sons Construction online at gdsconst.com or like us on Facebook and visit the websites of the many contractors that participated in today's show. I'm Carrie Perry. Thanks for watching.